This is a project I've been working on that I've been calling Skylark. It's a basketball playing continuum arm. It initially started as a quick one day build to explore the topic, but then it turned into a couple week long build, which turned into a couple month long build. This is part of a subfield of robotics called soft robotics. These robots are much more lightweight and flexible compared to traditional robots. The idea is that these arms can be used for collaboration with humans because they're inherently safe. They're compliant, which means that if there's a collision, they'll naturally bend away from the obstacle rather than forcefully hitting the person or thing in its path. This is a lot more like how nature has designed things. Soft robots are often bio-inspired and very organic looking. This arm, for example, has motion similar to that of an elephant trunk, a cat's tail, or an octopus tentacle. In a traditional robot arm, rigid links are connected to one another at their joints and are actuated with motors. For precise control, these links are often made of heavy and stiff materials. Instead of materials like metal, this arm is made out of various types of plastic. To further reduce the weight of the robot, the actuators are taken out of the arm and operated at a distance. To accomplish this, a wire is pulled relative to an outer housing, effectively making the wire shorter, which creates tension in the line and bends the arm continuously. This is similar to how the brake lever actuates the brake calipers on a bike. The foot pedal operating the gripper of the arm illustrates this well. It's spring-loaded so that the gripper reopens when the pedal is released. Below the table is the housing and tensioners for all the wire ropes and cable sheaths. There are nine cables in total, one pair for each degree of freedom, plus one for the gripper. The robot has two separate stages. The controller on the left moves the bottom half of the arm left and right and forwards and backwards, while the controller on the right gives the same motion to the top half of the arm. These two stages are independent of one another because of the cable housing. The spine of the robot is a torsionally stiff but flexible material, so it bends, but it doesn't twist. Each of the vertebrae is made out of HDPE and attaches to the spine while also routing each of the cables to their correct position. Thanks for watching.